Yes, ukulele. Um, <laughs> thank you all for coming. I have to say that I, I do believe that this uh, crowd is artificially packed uh, because not only are there friends from college and friends from high school and friends from middle school <laughs> and friends from elementary school. <laughs> There are also other colleagues and stuff like that. So if you actually knew me before I became an author, please raise your hand right now. See, these are the ringers. So, <laughs> I'm, glad you're, I'm glad you're here. You know what the, pro the thing is, is that I always tell people that anybody who knew me before I actually published a book is forever excused from reading anything I wrote because they had to live with me when I was like, hi, would you read this? Do you want to read this? Oh my God, would you please read it? Tell me what you think. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it? Don't you just love it? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? <sighs> hi, John. Uh-huh. Aliens. Yeah. Okay. Good job there, John. Uh, so, uh, so for those of you who have actually known me for years and years and years, thank you for coming out. I really do appreciate it. Uh, tonight, uh, we actually have a jam-packed uh, festival of fun and excitement. Uh, I'm going to read to you some stuff. Uh, I'm going to play the ukulele. I'm going to do that first to actually get it out of the way. I have a <laughs> special guest who's going to come up here and do some uh, fun stuff with me. We're going to then do a Q&A, and then we'll do the signing. So, uh, frankly, if this whole thing doesn't work, you get all your money back. <laughs> um, one of the things that I'm really extraordinarily happy about is I, I got a phone call from my editor today. Uh, you know, who was telling me, you know, here's how it's going. One, we rushed to an emergency printing because we're running out of books, which is, you know, a high class problem to have. Uh, the first week sales of this one are three times what the sales of Fuzzy Nation were in its first week, and that landed on the New York Times bestseller list. Uh, and uh, there's some dude who keeps sending me email going, we want to do a movie, we want to do a movie, why won't you come and talk to me about doing a movie? And I keep saying, talk to my agent! And then, hey, and then I get off the email from him and I go, woohoo! So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a little wacky week, so uh, it's uh, been kind of fun. Uh, to explain why I have the ukulele, I have to, to tell a little bit of backstory. How many of you know who Jonathan Colton is? So, <laughs> okay. So it's a nerd audience. <laughs> I called John. It's a mini Woodstock. Uh, several months ago, and I said, "Would you write a theme song for for my novel, uh, Red Shirt?" And uh, and he said yes. And he gave me the he gave it to me like uh, when I was actually here in L.A. He emailed it to me while I was at the L.A. Book Fair. And I was walking around the L.A. Book Fair, like singing this song that nobody had heard, and people thought it was a little bit crazy. Um, <laughs> but it, it's been released now. Just go uh, onto YouTube, and you can find it. But I, I, people had asked me when I went on tour, they said, if we bring you a ukulele, because I, I uh, YouTube me on a ukulele playing it. And they said, so if we bring you a ukulele, will you actually sing it? And I was like, I don't know why you'd want to do that to yourself. I can, you know, my voice will sterilize frogs at 300 yards, but yes, <laughs> I will do that if you actually bring the ukulele. So someone brought the ukulele. It was Kyle. <laughs> Kyle, my best friend from second grade, He's getting back on me for that time I put paste in his hair. Um, but I will go ahead and sing the uh, Red Shirt song. It's Red Shirt, the theme to Red Shirts by Jonathan Colton. I'm going to do a terrible job of it. Just pretend that I'm Jonathan Colton and I actually know what I'm doing. So. All right. All right. Can you can you hear the ukulele? Yes. Okay. Yes. You hold up one hand. Everyone waits until they can move again. Burden of command stands you up straight. Whoops, my wrong one. Straight. Something to prove again. Blood in your eyes. Streams on the radio. They say get out of there. We aren't finished yet. We tell them to grow a pair. They said this air would be breathable. <laughs> get in, get out again, and no one gets hurt. Up to me and point up the hill. I look down in my red shirt. I look down in my red shirt. 
this familiar place So in my eyes, right where I'm supposed to be I can read your face, I'm not surprised You moving close to me, then you decide Now I'm remembering, I've seen this one before I can't stop watching it, but what am I running for? It said this air would be breathable. You didn't get out again, and no one gets hurt. You nod to me and point up the hill. I look down in my red shirt. I look down in my red shirt. In my red shirt I don't hear the sound Everything slows All of it falls away They won't turn around Everyone knows It won't be them today Instead it was me <laughs> Go down dramatically Stretching it out a bit Still no one notices When they write me out of it <laughs> They said this air would be breathable I see the naked sky and I taste the dirt Dark at the edges and closing in I root down in my red shirt I look down in my red shirt 